Alrighty guys, we're gonna do a little mulling update. If this is your first video tuning in, pay attention closely. I'm gonna go over this quickly. Um, so the first thing I wanna talk about is mulling is the negative beta in the market. So if you go and you look at the last three weeks of just, just the S&P 500, look at the days that it's big red, you'll see that mulling's big green. Um, every time that they, they pump up the markets again, Mullen might have some, some small red days, but it always comes much higher than its last low. And now we're basically at, we're at 170 right now, three weeks ago when it squoze from 60 cents to $2 in a day. Um, it did that. So, I mean, basically we're back to that price already. Um, and what that means is after it squoze to two dollars, they dropped it to a dollar, and then all the way down to seventy-two cents. And every time retail just bought the dip, and that's why we just keep seeing new highs. So a lot of people got in at sixty cents before it went to two dollars, and now a lot of people got in at seventy-five cents. And there's literally no bag holders. Um, the highest that it's gone to since was yesterday, where it went to two oh nine. So maybe somebody bought in at two oh nine. But if you consider yourself a bag holder at this point, after one trading day, like you just don't trade enough. Um, you should be doubling down. I mean, this is the time to double your position if you already bought in at two oh nine. Um, if you not only with the negative beta of the markets going down and Mullen going up. There's been so many distraction stocks, so many distraction plays that have come into the market between the energy that they blame on the war, between the Ryan Coheen doing his 400% out of the money call options on Bed Bath & Beyond, between um, the gold miner that AMC just bought, 20% um, of the outstanding shares, HYMC. So it was up $2.72. 72 cents today um and it's all the way down to 159 so if that's not a rug pull i don't know what is um you might see one more day or two more days of action on that guy before it has its real rug pull but that's just because it just happened um and so basically there like these these opportunities that the market makers that the the rich people are giving you are designed to distract you from Mullen. They don't want you investing in Mullen. Um, and now let's explain what the threat is with Mullen. So the threat is simple. It is this. So they have 500 million shares total. They can di they can dilute ever. They have already diluted 100 plus million shares. If they dilute all 500 million shares at two dollars or less then we would buy the company for a billion dollars. After that, the price would increase until retail decides to sell. Now that's kind of like the definition of the MOAS, but if you paid attention to the AMC squeeze, to everything that's happened in 2021 with BB, BBIG, Prague, all of them, um, they never dilute all their shares at the bottom price. They, they send the price up <clears throat> and then they dilute the bag holders that FOMO in after the price is way up. Um, and so they send the price to $10. Now when they dilute 100 million shares, it's for a billion dollars instead of the current 170 million that they would be able to dilute us out of right now, which crushes, crushes the future or f crushes retail future buying power and crushes the FOMO that will follow as Mullen goes from $2 to $10. So basically if they've already sold 100 million, now they only have, um, they probably have 400 million left, but when they go to ten dollars they're gonna have to do another hundred million just to just to counteract the billion dollars of buying pressure that's gonna fomo into this and depending on how bad they dip it and depending if retail sticks around for one more squeeze we'll determine if we get another amc type drag out where it's like three months and then boom we go up 500 percent in a week um so they have to let the price up to preserve their dilution power um, against retail buying every available stock of every single share in a single stock and what that means is they will they'll never let retail buy every single share they will send the price as high as they have to at the latest time that they have to in, to, in order to make sure that it does not happen um, so we are fighting a dilution battle right now but this is the easiest battle to fight we can't lose this battle 
The next battle is to, de- to be determined, depending on how high they let it go, um, depending how much they're able to dilute for the minimum amount of shares, and then depending on how hard they crash it and how hard retail decides to buy back in will determine any future squeezes. But this squeeze is certain. That's what you need to understand. It is going much, much, much higher than $2 because they cannot keep diluting at this price. Retail has bought the dip. It's as simple as that. Um, There'll be more volume every single day until this happens. Whether it happens this week, next week, or the week after, it has to happen. Um, And they can't drag it out much longer. They really can't. April options are money in the bank. The car brand new. Um, is there any other, I mean, yeah, the negative beta, all the market makers and hedgies and Ryan Cohens and Adam Aaron's coming out with all these new plays you can throw your money at. It's all a distraction from Mullen. They're, they're clearly diluting. If you don't know about the dilution, let's take a look. Um, Where are you? Bear with me. It is coming. Here we go. So following the perspectives for the sale of up to 228 million shares of common stock filing show significant increases in both shares outstanding and the number of shares excluded from free float. Shares outstanding has now increased to 188 million shares with a free float of 82%. So before, there was 75 million shares. The insider said 50 million. We had 25 million of the free float. Now there's 188 million. If you do 188 million divided by, or sorry, times 82%, you get 154 million shares, which are now the free float. If we divide that by the 25 million, which it used to be just a week ago, they increased the free float 600% in the matter of a week. And they won't keep doing it. They won't keep selling at these prices. They can't keep selling at these prices, people. It's money in the bank, car brand new. Good luck. <laughs>